Fishing the Wild West TV with Wes David is brought to you by Tracker Boats, Fish the Finest, Adventure Destination International. Book your trip of a lifetime with Adventure Destination International in Thompson's Resort, along with Cam Clark Ford, the official vehicle of Fishing the Wild West TV. Fishing the Wild West. Getting a little western on the deck. Today we're going to talk about the lures that I use throughout this whole season and for the last five or six seasons. And I know what you're thinking. I use these lures because they sponsor or support the show. And you're 100% right. I'd be thinking that too. But the difference is I went after these lure companies, not them coming to me. And I went after them because these companies truly understand not only color, but flash and vibration that key into a fish's senses. I'm gonna start with Lucky Bug Lures. There's a whole family of Lucky Bug Lures, starting with the Bingo Bug. Now this Bingo Bug comes in a variety of different sizes. Great little trolling bug that creates flash and vibration in the water, and it's perfect for a variety of trout species, whether you're in a float tube, on a boat, or if you can weight it and, and uh, cast and retrieve it. Next, we're gonna to go to the Lucky Plug which I had a lot of success with this on a variety of species, but I really liked it in Manitoba with the freshwater drum. But this works great for bass, walleye, pike. You get the bigger sizes pike, and I've really had great success with the big sizes for lake trout. Then I'm gonna to go to the pike bomb. Now this is a new lure out, jointed lure, swims through the water, and all I can really say about it is, is pike can't resist it. The Zombie Max is an eight-jointed swimming lure that moves through the water more realistic than I've ever seen any other lure move through the water. And this is a great multi-species lure. And all these lures come in a variety of sizes, so make sure you have a couple different sizes. The Fusion Extreme, I've had a lot of luck with tiger trout, uh, rainbow trout and even walleye when they don't want a, a big profile bait they want something compact small and erratic and what's become my one of my favorite lures is the f-bomb especially trolling suspended uh, lake trout suspended rainbow trout and especially suspended walleye you can also run this behind your bottom bouncing harness and get right down it, it dives about five to six feet as it is but you can put it on your bottom bouncing harness and get right down to the bottom and walleye cannot resist this thing. But we're bottom bouncing something a little different this time. And I've really come to, oh, it's a walleye. Really come to like it. A um, lot of Canadian anglers don't bottom bounce hard plastics. It's uh, I believe the Americans have it dialed in. Good, it fell out. I'm just gonna grab him and I'll show you the lure after. So, not a big guy, but he hit it hard because what he's hitting is the new F-bomb from Lucky Bug. Now this is a great lure, has a lot of flash, great profile to what the walleye are used to feeding on, and that just comes through the water. I've got it on a bottom bouncer, so I'm throwing a little bit faster than I normally like. I think I'm going about 1.2 to 1.4, and that's coming through there, rattling, flashing, and the walleye can't resist it. All these lures from Lucky Bug Lures, again, have the understanding of not only quality colors, but flash and vibration through the water column, playing right into a fish species senses. This conservation talk is brought to you by Brian Muir with IA Securities, aligning your financial future so you can spend more time outdoors. We're here at one of the Western Irrigation District's canals for irrigation. The water's gone down, spring of the year, and look what we found. Prussian carp, they're scattered throughout here, all along the shore bank, there's 30 or 40 just right here. The best thing an angler can do to help Alberta Fish and Game Association eradicate these species or at least stop the spread of these species is educate yourself on what they look like, 
where they can be found, and you'd be surprised at the damage they can do. The campaign right now is catch it, kill it. Do not throw it on shore, do not put it in your live well, and definitely do not transport it anywhere. Kill it. They're damaging our native fish species, our native fish species habitat, and we as anglers can help the Alberta Fish and Game Association stop the spread of invasive species such as the Prussian carp. This segment has been brought to you by Hooked Magazine, Hooked on Fishing in the Great Outdoors, and Lucky Bug Lures. Get hooked on Lucky Bug Lures. Closed captioning is brought to you by Buzz Bomb Tackle, iconic sonic fishing lures made in North America for over 50 years. Let's talk about spoons and Len Thompson lures. 90 years this Canadian company's been around and everyone's familiar with the five of diamonds. However, there's a whole family of Len Thompson lures and quickly become my favorite since I was probably six years old is the number two Len Thompson. I've caught more large trout, northern pike, walleye, every species you can imagine has come on the number two. It's my favorite size, but there's more to Len Thompson than just the original Len Thompsons or the new Glow Series Len Thompsons. For example, let's talk about the Dimpled Series. This is a great lure, again a variety of sizes. Uh, I've caught a lot of big lake trout on this and you can see that there's dimples and what happens is that moves through the water, water is rushed into the concave portion of the dimple and out smashing into the water from the adjacent dimple. This lure creates, along with all of Len Thompson lures, creates a lot of flash and vibration. However, new to the system is the Northern King. I've had a lot of success for salmon, shallow water pike. When I want to cast over top of the weeds, I don't want this sinking right into the weeds hanging up in the weeds, I cast a Northern King lure. It falls about two, three feet, tips the top of those weeds, pike come out of those weeds and smash it. This is another great lure from Len Thompson called the Northern King. One thing about Len Thompson is a lot of people may or may not know is you can customize your lures to whatever you want, whether you want a company logo on there such as fishsaskatchewan.com or I've got my own Fish in the Wild West TV, it can be company or you can even make your own color patterns and Len Thompson will do it up for you. Again, all these lures from Len Thompson, high quality paints, every one of them hand painted and they all understand the importance of flash and vibration. The wind's going to blow me back over top of him, so I got to fight him plus keep up with the wind. I had a lot of line out. It's 14 feet of water here. I had a lot of line out just to keep my lure on the bottom. And he took it. Once I keep that, I keep that bait vibrating, creating flash and vibration, they, they'll find it. Now he feels like he's got some weight. I saw the flash of him. Whoa! He knows he's hooked now. That's a nice lake trout. So we're gonna... I got barbless hooks. So I got to keep a tight line. Yeah, he's a fat lake trout. <laughs> I'm getting excited here. I want to get him in the boat and show him to you. And we're literally a hundred yards from camp. They, uh, they never give up. While he's trying to put his belly back on the bottom, I'm going to get my eagle net ready. At least he's on this side of the boat now. The wind's pushing me that way so I don't have to deal with the boat running my line over. Yeah, he knows he's hooked now. Again, it's, it's um, mid-June. So these lake trout aren't always deep. They're up shallow. Like I said, we're I think 14 feet of water. Yeah, we drifted into 11 feet now. 
And I got him in the eagle net. We just we'll get the hook out of him and then we'll show him to you. So that's right out in front of, we're a hundred yards from Upper Foster Camp, like where we're staying. Self-guided fishing trip with Adventure Destination International. And this is in your backyard, right outside the door. This is a Len Thompson lure that I had them design, the, the fire tiger pattern, I believe it is, which normally runs vertical along the lure. I had two lures designed where they're cut in half some are on the top half, some are on the bottom half. And that's the first fish it's caught. It's one of my favorite colors. It creates lots of flash, by vibration, and imitates a lot of natural forage within the water bodies throughout North America. This segment has been brought to you by Lynn Thompson Lures, Canadian made for over 90 years, and Rock Guard, protect your investment. This segment is brought to you by Big Sky Flies and Jigs, Tackle You Can Trust, and Tourism Saskatchewan. Start planning your visit today. Let's talk about the jigs and the jigs I use and have been using for the last five or six years, and that's Big Sky Jigs. Tough, durable tackle that you can trust. Come in a wide variety of colors, sizes, and even hook shank sizes where I'm fishing a, a leech or I'm fishing uh, frozen baits or my favorites, which is big bite baits, soft plastics. Big Sky Jigs goes along with anything that you're fishing. Here I've got a, a big bite bait on it and I've tipped it with a stinger hook. Now when those shallow striking walleye come up, they're getting that stinger hook. We've all been jigging set the hook, felt the weight of the fish, and come up with half our bait. It's because they were short striking. If you tie on a stinger hook, I promise you, you will land 90% more of the, the walleye that bite your hook just by that stinger hook. Again, the Big Sky jig with that flash, but they also create vibration. A lot of people just set their jig down, pick it up, set it down, pick it up. When I get to a spot the first time I'm jigging, the first six to 10, 12 times, I pick my jig up and smash it off the bottom as hard as I can because it's creating flash and vibration. But how do I find them jigging? I first set up and bottom bounce. Again, I've got another big bite bait on here, four inch disc worm, one of my favorite color patterns, black with the white tail. Now you've heard me throughout the years talk when I'm bottom bouncing that I like my bouncer to hit every two and a half to three feet. And again, bottom contact is key. That's moving along. What's happening back here is you're creating that flash and vibration with your blade, beads, and along comes the big bite baits, frozen minnow, whatever you're using. And that's bouncing along, setting up those strikes. Once I find them, right away, I come back over top of them and jig. That's a one-two combo, a one-two punch that I use, and it served me well for hooking into a lot more walleye. Right as I round the corner, we're coming out of 11 feet of water and the boat right now is in 18 feet of water. So they're sitting on that hill. Yeah, I gotta, the wind is really pushing us around. But yeah, this is a little better one. I'll show them to the camera. This is, a bottom bouncing is a great way to cover a lot of water looking for active fish. And that's all we're doing. We're just covering water, um, looking for these active fish. Pop that out of there. Simple little bait. That's probably its 10th or 12th fish already. And nothing huge yet, but we're working our way through them. Away he goes. All right, got one on. This one looks like it might be a little better fish too. Can I give him his time here? Yeah, he is. So we're using, we got a big sky jig and we baited it 
with a uh, with a swimming jerk bait from Big Bite Baits, and we're just popping it along the bottom. We'll go for some bigger ones. But all we're doing is just setting it on the bottom and it's a swim bait. So we're just casting it out a wee bit and instead of vertical jigging, we're jigging it up, letting it hit. Jigging it up, letting it hit. And as it does that, it's the jerk bait itself is actually swimming just like a dying minnow and it's working perfect. This Gear Talk is brought to you by Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Your adventure starts here. Today let's talk about total boat control and even further let's talk about the power poles and how I use them. There's the power poles which are the shallow water anchor system. However, equipped with the power pole drift paddles have really upped the game for us, especially for walleye anglers. Lindy rigging, bottom bouncing, you can now control your boat in a wide variety of conditions. You can even manipulate your boat to go sideways working with your trolling motor. These have increased my slow, subtle walleye bites by 100%. I can quickly change out my drift paddles to what angles I want to work with, put them back. I can manipulate my boat in a variety of different ways. Then, if I'm fishing shallow water conditions, I can actually use them as an anchor system or if I'm waiting at the boat launch for my fishing partner. Power pole and power pole drift paddles are a one-two punch for those slow, subtle walleye bites. Fishing the Wild West TV will be right back. This segment is brought to you by Steel Shad Lures. Any fish, any depth, any season. And Power Pole, total boat control. Another lure company that really understands flash and vibration is Buzz Bomb Tackle. Known out in the West Coast for a variety of saltwater species such as rockfish, salmon, even halibut, I've been using it in the freshwater and have great success. Let's start with the Buzz Bomb. Buzz bomb goes through your line, there's a little stopper, and ties directly to your hook. This is incredible little bait. I have this one tied on my line because I was fishing walleye. I was jigging walleye with it. You can jig lake trout with it, northern pike, any species you want. It comes in a variety of sizes. It's a heavy lure, so it's great for getting into deep water and jigging deep water. That's why it did so well on the west coast, or does so well on the west coast. Another one is the spinno. So this is like a, a jigging spoon. Um, tie your line to it, drop it down, jig it. You can swim it. You got to be moving it fast to spin, but it spins, creating that flash and vibration. Then there's the zinger. This is another one where the line goes through. Again, there's a little stopper and then your hook. And this acts similar to the buzz bomb. So it rides up and down your line, spinning with the resistance of the water. And that spinning of all these lures creates a thunderous vibration through the water column along with flash. These, uh, the, the buzz bombs here, right now we're vertical jigging, but they're great. You can cast them out, jig them back to the boat. You can cast them out swim them back to the boat. The heavier style, which is one of my favorite when I'm fishing uh, northern pike in the weed beds, is I can go in the weed beds and actually punch through those weeds with a heavier style. And another little tip I found with them, if you are going to tip them with anything, first, again, I like the liquid mayhem scent on there, but if you're going to tip them with anything, we all have tubs of minnows and you get those little wee little minnows that aren't any good for anything, they're great to, to tip your buzz bombs with and give that added scent or texture or whatever. So don't throw your little wee minnows away. Get some buzz bombs and fish up some walleye. Let's talk about a lure that has quickly become one of my go-to lures and that's a steel shad. Steel shad's another lure that truly understands flash and vibration. Is You give it a bend and now I can cast, say, fish and bass. I can swim that under a dock from a long distance away. Northern pike, I can cast it and cut the edge of that uh, weed bed. Bend it back, I want it to run true again. 
Another lure, steel shad, the smaller size, has been a great bait for uh, walleye and rainbow trout. This, this is a swimming bait, again, lots of flash and vibration. Both these lures can also be used through the ice. Pull the, I got a steel shad on, I was just about to pull it out of the water. Now he knows he's hooked. Here he is here, that's... We've, uh, we've been in a couple bays, we got some 40s caught. We're not measuring them, so they're all big. This one here I don't think would push 40, but probably 35 but they're all a lot of fun to catch. I'll show you that steel shed when I get them in. It's, it's barbless hook, so I'm just being careful here. There you Beauty. Go, girl. I'll get a, we'll get them up situated here and then I'll show you this steel shed. Brendan got her out of the net here. You see that steel shed. I'll show you that a little closer here in a minute. We'll get her unhooked. We're gonna get her back in the water and I'll show you what we're doing. So this is what we're throwing here. We've got roughly 18 inch steel leader on. And then I have the steel shad and it's weighted in the front. So as you cast and retrieve it or troll it, it's going through the water and, it, and it's flash. And you, you've seen some shots of how much flash and vibration it has in the water. Perfect up here at uh, Wilderness Family Outfitters because there's pike love the flash and vibration and there's lots of them so you can really learn this lure quick um, and take it home to your public lake fish away all the lures you saw today even live and frozen bait i always touch up with liquid mayhem it's a great scent comes in a variety of scents and no fish can resist i'm your host wes david fish in the wild west tv if you like what you've seen join us on social media Follow us through our webpage and follow us through Hook Magazine. Work is poison, the antidote to spend 10 hours on this fishing boat. No cell phone service and no long to mow. What matters most is that I'm all alone. Living a dream, fishing a stream. Fishing a stream, living a dream. Follow us on social media or at fishingthewildwesttv.com.